Hello and welcome to Sing It, a program about all things music. I'm Julia Wachtel. On today's episode, we learn more about the history of acapella, hear from Hofstra alum about their experiences, and have an exclusive interview with Hofstra Dutchman. But first, let's send it over to our reporter Maggie Hart at the John Cranford Adams Playhouse with everything you need to know about where acapella came from and how it has evolved to what it is today. Thanks, Julia. I'm coming to you from the John Cranford Adams Playhouse, where members of Sigma Capella last year earned second place at the ICCA Northeast Quarterfinals. Although Hofstra is home to five a cappella groups, not many know the origins behind the form of music. Let's take a look. Did you know that the word cappella is Italian for chapel? Although many people define a cappella as singing without accompaniment, the word originally referred to singing in the manner of the chapel. When first documented, a cappella music was largely performed within cathedrals and it was called Gregorian chants. These chants were sung by monks, singing one line at a time. Feeling the need to expand from chants, composers such as Joaquin Depré and Orlando de Lasso composed polyphonic a cappella music. This style creates more texture within the music, allowing for more voice parts to sing simultaneously. By 1906, a cappella had found its way to the United States. Peter Christian Lutkin, the Dean of Conservatory of Music at Northwestern University, founded the Northwestern A Cappella Choir, bringing this form to the collegiate setting. In 2009, a cappella resurfaced in pop culture thanks to the TV show Glee. A cappella was no longer bound to hymnals and other classical pieces. Singers expanded to singing pop music, along for other musical groups to emerge. As you can see, a cappella is continuously changing. From chants to pop, a cappella is not conformed by a single genre. For Sing It, I'm Maggie Hart. Back to you, Julia, in the studio. Thanks, Maggie. Now that we have heard the history of a cappella, let's see what a cappella looks like today. Joining us in studio, we have Michael O'Malley, the president of the Hofstra Dutchman, along with Justin Shaw. Thank you both so much for being here. Let's start off by hearing a little bit more about what the Dutchmen are and what your group does. Michael, let's start with you. The Dutchmen are Hofstra's sexiest and only all-male a cappella group. Um, we're a performance-based organization, uh, which pretty much means that we don't compete. We're more based on having fun and performing for a crowd or an audience and putting a smile on their face. And Justin, how did you decide the Dutchman was the right fit for you? Well, after seeing the Dutchman perform when I was a freshman, just once, I saw them having so much fun, smiling, putting smiles on other people's faces, that when I had that big smile on my face, I knew I needed to go sign up and be a part of that group. In a typical semester, what type of performances does the Dutchman put on? So the Dutchman do a ton of performances throughout uh, Hofstra's campus. We do admitted students days, uh, open houses to really engage with the, uh, the new Hofstra community. Um, and we also mix with other organizations uh, in terms of performances. Thank you both so much. We caught up with some Hofstra acapella alums and what their experience was like at Hofstra and how they kept the music in their lives today. Let's take a look. You know, I loved being in chorus and just kind of being uh, around a group of people that were passionate about music and just about uh, being in a group, being together and working together to, uh, you know, make the organization successful. Pitch Perfect came out. And so as someone who's been a singer for like most of my life, um, that movie was so exciting to me. And I watched it like over and over again. Um, and so it was perfect timing when I went to college that I could be in an a cappella group. Just one day I was walking through the club fair at Hofstra and then someone aggressively stopped me and was like, do you sing? And I was like, maybe. So they encouraged me to audition and I did. Um, I just loved watching the performances um, and not only how much energy and how good these groups sounded, but then you could tell that it was a really good way to be um, to be social. If I didn't do acapella, I don't think I would be the person that I am today. It just helped me build a lot of strengths that I've carried with me um, even post-graduation. Like being in an acapella group just taught me so much about like camaraderie and teamwork. Um, I, I loved all the memories from it all. We are back with today's guests, Michael O'Malley and Justin Shaw from the Hofstra Dutchman. So I know you guys created a music video during quarantine. Can you talk a little bit about the creation of that? So um, we filmed our cover of Boys of Summer originally performed by Don Henley. Um, and essentially the steps that went into it, uh, like we said, we're, we're recording on our phones voice recorders, all of our individual voices. 
um, and then you know filming ourselves, uh, you know dancing, having fun, uh, bringing up that energy uh, to have it translate through the speakers uh, and video well. Wow, that sounds amazing. Let's take a look at a clip from the Dutchman's latest music video. That was incredible. Thank you both so much for being here. You can also stream the Dutchman's single, The Cave, on Spotify. And thank you for tuning in for Sing It. I'm Julia Wachtel.